So L'Hopital's rule does not only work for a zero over zero case, but also for an infinity over infinity case, positive or negative. So the result should look familiar. If we have a limit as x approaches a for some real number of f over g, and the case is infinity over infinity, again, positive or negative, that doesn't matter. And if the new limit as x approaches a of f prime over g prime exists, so is equal to some real number, or possibly l could be positive or negative infinity, if that is the case, then the original limit must be equal to l as well. So both the limit of the ratio of the functions and the limit of the ratio of their corresponding derivatives will be the same. And here's a quick intuition to see why this is not a totally ludicrous result. As x gets closer and closer to a, assuming here that both are positive, both f and g are getting larger and larger and larger. How large? Arbitrarily large. So when considering the ratio of f over g and trying to figure out what will this fraction be approaching as x gets closer to a, the fundamental question is, well, which function is growing more rapidly, right? So you can say, okay, if f grows much more rapidly than g, then f should take over the fraction and drive it to blow up to infinity. On the other hand, if g grows much more rapidly than f, then g should take over the fraction and make the whole fraction get closer to zero. And there could be a balance. If both f and g grow at roughly the same rate, so they are getting larger and larger at roughly the same speed, then they should balance each other out to some real number. And that's what the new limit is measuring. It's comparing the rate of change of each function, looking at how quickly is f growing versus how quickly is g growing. So you can think of this as a race to infinity. Which function gets to infinity faster? Which function grows faster? So hopefully, this gives you somewhat of an intuition as to why this result may seem reasonable.